everyone, so I decided to make a part two to my community college life video thing because last time when I made the video, I was like halfway through the first semester and now that the semester's finished, I thought I might as well just like make a part two to it because now I think I feel like I learned a lot more about community college life. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is midterms. Because, okay, for me, I only had a midterm in my math class. So I don't know if you're supposed to have a midterm in all your classes, but I only had it in my math class. Now, I didn't do too good in my math midterm because I didn't study as much as I would, would have wanted to. I only studied for like a day, honestly, and it was, it was like only an hour long I studied. So that was a fail. I didn't do very good at the midterm. I actually don't even want to say what I got because it was like really that bad. But my advice would be to study for your midterms and your finals. I definitely studied for my finals and I did really good in them actually. I got a 69% on my English final and I got 119 on my math final. Because in, in my math final, it was open notes, so, like, that was, I was so lucky because I would not have gotten that freaking good of a score if it wasn't open notes. I know that for sure, even though I did study. Very important thing I learned is to check your email before you go to class. Because I cannot tell you how many times I went, I was going to, I was walking to class. And it turns out that class got canceled and I have to walk all the way back to my house. Because I didn't want to stay at school because I have like a three hour like break between my two of my classes. And I didn't want to stay at freaking there for like three hours. So check your email because you never know. Your teacher might have emailed you saying that class got canceled. And it's just annoying. And then they email you too saying like if you have any extra assignments that are due. I still not, I haven't learned to check my email. I'm a dumbass. I really should start checking my email more often. But yeah, that's something important that you have to do. Another thing that I learned is that some people in your classes are going to be annoying because they don't shut the fuck up. Like, I think the lower level of class you get, the more like annoying people they're going to be. Because like some people like in the back of the fucking classroom will not shut the fuck up and it is so annoying. But yeah, there's still gonna be some loud, obnoxious people. But I guess that's college life in general. Like you don't really grow up much until like you get out of college. So yeah, there's still gonna be some loud as fuck people. Oh, and this, this next one is like a really random thing, but you might get a substitute in your class, which is really weird because most of the time, whenever my teacher isn't there, the class will get canceled for the day because there's no one there to, t to teach you. But t two times, there's been actually a substitute. I, I don't know why, but that's really odd. I always figured that class would get canceled, but no, actually, I have gotten a substitute before. I didn't know that existed in college. I don't think that, ex because that does not exist often, but you never know, you might actually get a substitute, so... That's, that's kind of an experience because the substitute actually is, a, is another teacher in the school. So that's a little bit strange, but... The other thing I learned is you are going to probably make friends. People are really friendly in college, and it's really nice. Like, I made friends with like a, like a 39-year-old woman, which is like, I never thought I would ever do that, because especially because like, like, that's as old as how my dad is. So that was kind of weird, making a friend that's as old as my dad. But yeah, and then I saw, I made some more friends with people I knew from high school. Like, they're very, they're nice. There's a lot of cool people in college and stuff. The teachers are especially nice. You just have to do your work. Don't expect them to be nice to you. You got to do your work. Like, seriously. Pay attention in class and all that good stuff. Oh well, yeah, I think that's all I could think of for now. Yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I haven't, I keep on forgetting to say that at the end of my videos for some reason. But yeah, don't, yeah, all that good stuff. 
I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.